thank you for being here, dear soul. From my heart, I welcome you to this guided meditation. I thank you for choosing to connect and co-create with me in this now moment. During this guided meditation, you know that you are free to move whenever you feel like it. If you want to, you may take a couple of deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth, circulating life force in your precious body, because it is precious. You know that, don't you? And you can feel grateful for it if you want to, but you don't need to do anything. The energy we all breathe in, we label it as air or oxygen, when in reality it is life energy, it is life force flowing in and out of your body. And maybe you have experienced that when you redefine the meaning of something, it changes how you feel about it. Good to know, because you have that ability within you to redefine the meaning of things to your advantage. While other times you don't need to redefine anything consciously, because you just do that automatically sometimes. And for some people, it is not always easy to let go of old truths, even if the new definition is more empowering. It may not feel completely safe, only because it is something new, like our old identity wants to keep something, only to serve that identity. And that is okay. It is a normal response to when consciousness expands. Just like a tree allowing its new leaves to blossom without ever thinking about the leaves from the year before. It uses all its energy on absorbing the sun, the air, the water, and the minerals from earth to expand. And you can allow your shoulders to let go and relax with every exhale. Feeling good enough is one of the choices you can make now if you want to. And you can even smile about the fact that you have choices like this available. And when one combines the power of free will with the power of awareness and the power of the heart, one can really get to know the power of making conscious choices. And many people feel a feeling of ease, empowerment, freedom, when they realize that every now moment offers a choice. And this awareness is a valuable resource. There is a story about a young woman named Sophia. Looking at the stars had always calmed her, and she was always fascinated about the fact that the longer she looked at the night sky, the more stars appeared. And she had always pondered if they were hidden and suddenly decided to show themselves, or if they were there all along and when she had the intention to see, she was able to see. Sophia remembered back to her 
childhood when she had this deep connection to the stars and she felt like that there were other beings living in many of the stars and that they were communicating with her as if they knew who she was and now as a grown-up when she was staring at one particular star a memory came to mind she was nine years old she had eagerly mentioned to her family that the stars and the beings from the stars were speaking to her and her family started to laugh her father patted her on her head and said sure honey let's stick to logic here don't make a fool of yourself by speaking about this with others they will laugh at you and Sophia didn't want to disappoint her dad he was a grown-up after all he knew best after a while she stopped connecting with the stars Sophia came back to her present moment a tear rolled down her face she saw it clearly now how this experience made her shut down a part of her that wanted to be free to speak out to be herself to believe in what she felt was right for her to find her own truth unafraid of what others may think of it or think about her suddenly she heard a voice saying Sophia you are not alone we are here we have been waiting for you Sophia remembered that voice and the feeling in her heart Sophia started crying and shaking she was purging and releasing the seal that had been put on her by her family and society as a whole a part of her was in shock about what she was going through and another part completely surrendered into the knowing that she was safe eventually the crying and shaking stopped she went back into her house and went straight to bed she woke up the next morning with all her clothes on she remembered what had happened she felt different like there was something not there anymore now she remembered the seal breaking and dissolving she started to giggle and she felt that giggling feeling all the way down to her toes and she went outside and sat down on her concrete stairs breathing in that beautiful air that beautiful life energy suddenly she noticed a dandelion it had blossomed out through the concrete stairs cracked the concrete open to grow freely Sophia knew then at that moment she felt it her sovereignty her inner power her courage and freedom to make conscious choices from a place of love connection and trust to believe in herself and her heart and to authentically be herself Sophia started to cry tears of joy she knew that it was time now to start living her life from her heart growing like that dandelion through concrete through all resistance unstoppable in her sovereign power unstoppable in her sovereign power and 
and she had now reconnected with her innate sovereignty. And she couldn't wait to connect with the stars again. And while you drift deeper into a state of beingness that can feel good in so many ways, I wonder if you can, in your own way, make your arms heavier. And relax your shoulders now. You can trust your body to do whatever it needs to do in this process you are going through now. And one can relax without being aware of the relaxation taking place. And even if your body may have been unable to relax for a long time, it is good to know that relaxation is the default state of your body. It is the natural state of being, relaxing and flowing. Imagine in your magnificent and powerful mind that you are teleported to a beautiful and serene grass field surrounded by majestic mountains. Imagine small streams of deep blue water running down the mountains, flowing throughout the grass field. Breathe in the life force around you, taking in Mother Nature through all your senses. And maybe you notice flowers and plants in the most radiant colors, the sky, the ground beneath you, supporting you. Imagine closing your eyes and being completely present, noticing a deeply peaceful silence, almost as if there has never been uttered a word here. Breathing in this peace into every muscle, nerve, fiber, and cell in your body. Imagine that in front of you, stardust starts falling like snow from the sky, landing on the grass field and on you. This stardust may begin to make you feel more calm, more centered and more balanced now. This stardust is fragments of source energy. Its love, wisdom and intelligence are downloaded into your energy body, your physical body. And you don't need to feel anything or do anything. How you experience this journey is the right way for you. Imagine that in front of you a ball of stardust is forming and it starts to move towards what seems to be an arcway of trees further ahead of you and you follow it, trusting your inner guidance now. The stardust is an extension of your true self, your higher self your soul essence and it is now showing you the best path for you to walk and even if this place is of utter beauty you still have to be aware and awake
because there are things like nettles and thorny rose bushes along the way that you want to watch out for. You are aware now, choosing your steps, looking ahead, upgrading your ability to discern with your mind and heart to let you know if there is something on your path that you need to be aware of. Processing and initiating a new level of awareness in your mind, your heart and body so that you can adjust your steps and direction allowing a larger dose of your soul's wisdom and knowing into your being in a safe and natural way. Imagine reaching the arcway of trees, a beautiful tunnel formed by the trees. And as you continue following the stardust, Maybe you notice an even deeper sense of peace as the trees and nature spirits welcome you. And with each step you take, you ground yourself more and more. Be centered, be grounded, and be balanced in your innate wisdom and knowing and you can appreciate in many ways that this feeling of being grounded and centered is activating a deeper sense of peace and calmness within you now. And the energy of deep peace and calmness loves to be around you, circulating more and more within you now and you are doing good. In what seems to be the end of the tree tunnel, there is a shimmering golden light. It seems to beckon you, and the closer you get, the more you notice that the tree tunnel begins to open up, and you find yourself in front of a golden pyramid. Imagine that you can see through it, only the outline of the pyramid is very prominent. The square lines at the base, the triangular lines on the pyramid's four sides, meeting at the top. How you experience this in your mind, in your body, is the right way for you. You are connected with this pyramid. The stardust merges with the pyramid and it has an important message telling you that due to circumstances on Mother Earth, there are new layers of your soul purpose that are activating now. Your voice, your wisdom, your energy, your presence are needed on Mother Earth now more than ever. And it is time now to call forth and fully connect with the tribe of souls that are on the same path as you. They have the same mission as you in this time on Mother Earth. Some call you star seeds, light workers, light warriors, way showers, or something else. The definition is irrelevant. Your mission is one and the same. Some souls from your soul tribe you will meet in physical life, yet most will work united and more powerful as ever before on the spiritual plane. You have worked together as a group for a long time, through multiple lifetimes and timelines, on Earth and on other star systems, 
planets and dimensions. Imagine that your soul tribe is stepping forth from all sides of the pyramid. They may show themselves in physical form or their light body, their soul light. Some may present themselves as familiar, and maybe I am there with you. And the purest form of love is circulating between you and your soul tribe, from heart to heart, creating an energy grid surrounding the pyramid. Your soul tribe, they know you, they see you, they feel you. Imagine the golden pyramid levitating up in the air. And beneath the golden pyramid, a silver pyramid turned upside down is ascending up from the ground. And it merges with the golden pyramid. The base of the silver pyramid connects with the base of the golden pyramid. And the merging of silver and gold creates rose gold. The shape of the two pyramids connecting creates a rose gold octahedron. And this alchemical merge is the merging of the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. The merging of consciousness and love. Imagine the golden pyramid starting to rotate clockwise and the silver pyramid counterclockwise. And this creates a column of silver light bursting out from the heart of Mother Earth and into the center of the octahedron. While simultaneously, a column of golden light from the heart of the universe enters from above, meeting in the center of the rose gold octahedron, creating a column of rose gold fire. And in unison, your higher hearts open wide. And you plug into the rose gold flame, becoming one with it, balancing and aligning you now, your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your spiritual body all aligning and it's good to know that the rose gold fire is also a powerful energy shield surrounding you with the rose gold fire shields your energy keeping it vibrant and healthy keeping it vibrant and healthy and while a part of you may wonder how this works your unconscious mind knows how to utilize the rose gold flames protective cleansing and balancing energy for your highest good imagine that you all start walking towards the rose gold octahedron encircling it and as you come close to it you all levitate into the center of the octahedron where the bases of both pyramids merge. And you are safely downloading the rose gold flame into every cell of your body. At the same time, it communicates with your heart and soul telling you 
you that you are ready to see, hear, feel and know about layers of truth that have been right in front of you but hidden from your conscious awareness. And these shadow aspects are being lit up for you to heal and integrate. And shadow aspects of things going on in the world on a collective level. They have been hiding so well in front of everybody. It is now being revealed to you at the pace that you are ready for in your physical life. Because you have arrived at this point on your journey. You have chosen this on soul level. Your willingness, courage and confidence to stand up for love, for freedom, for peace. It is growing stronger and more powerful with each breath you take. And that rose gold fire is cleansing your inner vision and sensory system so that you can see and feel truth with clarity, discernment and detachment when your inner sight penetrates all veils and illusions and goes straight into the core of truth. And it may surprise you how calm and secure you feel within because you are understanding and experiencing more and more of the higher perspective understanding higher perspective and you can start to trust your inner voice now on a new level from a place of calmness and alignment no matter what the outside looks like what others are saying or doing the rose gold fire is now activating that deep sense of knowing within you by sending your body, mind and heart a seed of higher wisdom and deep understanding now so that you can see and feel truth. And maybe what is playing out in the world and in your life at this moment is all about planting new seeds, seeds of love, peace and unity. And for them to sprout and thrive, the weeds are now being removed from the very root collapsing illusions and collapsing the systems and dissolving all dark agendas, collapsing all corruption, collapsing the paradigms and the lies that have held the world in shackles only to serve a few, dissolving all attempts to force and control you or others. Now, enough is enough. Even if you haven't consciously known about all that is happening under the surface, deep inside you know, and it is time now. Enough is enough. The line has been drawn in the sand. Imagine from your solar plexus from the solar plexus of everyone in your soul tribe, you blast out a beam of immense light into the rose gold flame. And with that, you are declaring your sovereignty, declaring your boundaries on all dimensions of creation. It is over now. All cords severed. Now the weed is snapped out by the root and thrown into the fire of divine justice, 
divine order and divine light. Declaring with purity of your higher heart an intention to live in a world of unconditional love and compassion, peace and unity, divine justice and freedom for all now. And so it is. It is already done. Your declared boundaries echo through the universe. They are sealed in divine truth and love. They are sealed in divine truth and love. Imagine the column of rose gold flame and the octahedron energy becoming even more intense now as you and your soul tribe made your declaration and you are invited to look at all that has happened in your life and in the history of mother earth the dark and the light through the lens of forgiveness acceptance and gratitude some people may find it challenging to do this that is okay it is understandable do it at the level you are comfortable with from soul perspective we are aware of the bigger picture and shadows disappear when in presence of light accepting and forgiving is about freedom it's about choosing the higher path it's about severing the cords that have held the shadows in place. You can be grateful if you want to for all the learning, healing and growth. And now humanity and Mother Earth are at a point of time of exponential awakening, awakening to who we really are as a collective the point of critical mass is reached. All the healing and awakening that has happened has tipped the scale to light. And this has activated the ascension timeline, the path to the golden age on Earth. And you and your soul tribe once again, with the power and purity of your higher heart, make your declaration that you intend to live in a world of unconditional love and compassion, peace, unity, harmony and joy, divine justice and freedom for all life now. And so it is, it is already done. The column of rose gold flame and the rose gold octahedron starts to pulsate now. It is the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It is the heartbeat of the fifth dimensional version of Mother Earth. Gaia, the heartbeat of Gaia, the universe and your soul tribe are synchronizing now. And imagine that the rose gold column shrinks into a ball of immense energy hovering right in front of you. And the rose gold flame starts to transform its color with the most radiant violet light. This is the flame of purification and transmutation. It is the flame of divine justice and truth. 
it is the flame of freedom and divine order. Divine order. The ball of violet flame is pulsating, containing your sacred boundaries, your sacred declaration of divine truth, divine justice and divine love. Imagine that the ball of violet flame shoots off into the universe and to the galactic center of the universe where it explodes into billions of fragments and every fragment holds the full energy of your soul tribe's collective declaration and your individual declarations and the billions of fragments travel beyond the structure of time and space through all galaxies and suns and finally showering upon mother earth covering her in violet fire every fragment of the violet flame penetrates the collective consciousness now Activating remembrance and knowing, aligning the intellect, the higher heart and higher self, cleansing and dissolving illusions and distortions. Now, activating and upgrading the DNA of all souls that have contracted to awaken and up level now. giving every soul exactly what they need depending on where they are on their awakening journey all for the golden age on earth all for peace all for love imagine that from the heart of Gaia, the most radiant violet light shining into the surface of the planet, into every flower, plant and tree. Into the mountains, lakes, rivers and oceans. into the physical bodies of people and animals into the air and out into the atmosphere sealing the earth with a violet flame Imagine you and your soul tribe smiling to each other from your eyes and your heart. The love between you is pure, so pure and unconditional. Imagine that you all start to become transparent, still connected on soul level. You are ready to move into the physical reality and take needed action. And this journey has activated a new level of confidence, courage and power within you. And in your physical reality, when you spontaneously or intentionally think about and imagine the rose gold flame or the rose gold octahedron it will have an empowering impact on you and your surroundings whenever you listen to this meditation or the sound of my voice you will activate the rose gold octahedron surrounding you shielding you protecting you cleansing you loving you
I will be silent for a little while, while your unconscious mind integrates the words, intentions, energies, activations, and initiations that have taken place on this journey you and I have done together, and it integrates into every cell in your body now. And soon I will count from one to three, and when I come to three, open your eyes and bring your conscious awareness fully into your physical body and surroundings. One, start moving your hands and feet. Breathe deeper into your hands and feet. Exhale from your hands and feet. Stretch your precious body. And you can smile. Come on. I would love to see your smile. Two. And smile with your eyes. And bring your full awareness to your feet now. Feel your toes. Imagine your toes giggling a bit. Three. When you are ready, open your eyes. From my heart to your heart, I thank you for your trust, for your time and for your presence here and choosing to co-create with me a better world for all life. All for love. All for love. I see the light in you. Shine it bright, dear soul.